What is good friends, back with more SPL, we have Letna playing for the Sharks versus John AK Barofus playing for the Bigs. Not sure what the exact score is in the series at the moment, but I know that the Bigs are leading. Uh, looking at the teams, I'm expecting a Megalarios from on Letna's side, which is like one of the best Heatran switchins, if not the best Heatran switchin we have in OU. Especially if Heatran is lacking Toxic, Megalari pretty much walls it. And they carry Recover, Earthquake, Draco and Psychic. Um, sometimes they carry the rare HP Fire, but in tour play we haven't seen that much yet. That's just the thing that my friends have been using. The Heatran Auto Weaver is most likely the Z-Move user on Letna's side. I'm expecting more so Band Weaver and Z-Move Heatran. Kalia is probably Scarf to help check um, Protein on Balamon Greninja and also potentially help versus Volcarona. And then the Landros is most likely Defog because he has a Weaver and he He's also kind of weak to spike, so he definitely needs some defog support. And Landros is more likely to be the defogger than Lari. And the Bulo is probably AV to help versus Balm, Bond, Greninja, and especially versus Tapu Koko. On both his side, I assume we see um, most likely AV Tangros. Uh, either Scarf Lando or Scarf Greninja, we'll have to see that. I'm expecting either Gren or Lando to be Scarf, and the other one of the two to be Z move. Electric Sita Lucha, which is a huge threat in this game, especially with the defense boost that it will get from the Seed. So it can take Weevil's Ice Shard, it can set up on a potential defensive Landris. The Coco is either Shuka or Spex, most likely on Brofus' side. And the Heatran, I would assume it's leftovers, um, Magma Storm of Power Taunt and Rocks. And yeah, the, the Landris could be two things on Brofus' side. It could be either Z move or it could be Scarf. Like, if it's, um, yeah, we see Landris as Bull Lead. Uh, Letna has to sw switch out here, right? Um, either into his own Landris or into Heatran. Because Brofist could go for Sky Strike here or he could go for U turn, depending on his set. And Heatran would cover the Sky Strike and Heatran would cover the U turn. So that's a potential play. Or his own Landris is also a good play. But yeah, staying in is never the play. Health on Bully is pretty nice uh, for the Coco. And also to potentially change up the terrain later on in the game so that Halucha doesn't get the Electric Seed activated because Halucha is a huge problem for Letna. Uh, this could also be rocks, but I'm expecting the rocks to be on the trend, like I already said. So you see a switch into Landers, so confirming that it's most likely defensive Landers. Both his U turns out. Uh, probably confirming that he's Choice Scarf. He can now go into his Green Ninja and get up a spike here. Um, this is either Battle Bond or Protein, obviously. So Lagna should go into his Caldia because he doesn't know yet if it's Protein or Battle Bond. If it's Protein, they could carry Gang Shot, so Bulu is too risky. And yeah, we will get some information here whenever Brofist clicks spikes. I mean, Protein and Balamon Greninja both carry spikes, and then we will see which type of Greninja he is. He gets up the spike, and he is Protein. So now, um, Scarf Kalio obviously threatened out the Greninja. I'm expecting the Tangros to come out here, which is like the main switch in for Brofist. Letna could fish for burn with Scald here, or he could um, attempt to double on the Tangros, but he does. Go into Tapu Koko, which I'm a bit surprised by. And Letna goes for Toxic, trying to catch the Tangro. So he's Scarf, Toxic, Secret Sword, Hydro Pump, and Scald, most likely. Um, I'm not sure what Brofus predicted there, but it worked out for him. Now Letna is either going to go into Landris or into Tapu Bulu. So Brofus can either Volt Switch, expecting the Bulu, or he could double into Greninja. Uh, double into Greninja pretty much covers both plays. It covers the Lando and it covers the Bulu. Because Lando could potentially block a Volt Switch, which is why Double into Greninja is a better play than Volting here. Um, you could also just dazzle him to get some chip off, but Volt Switch or Double into Greninja seems like a better play for Brofus, as there is the Bulu as he doubles into Greninja. Now Letna has to scout for the Gang Shot. We saw it was Protein, so it is pretty likely to have Gang Shot, especially the way he doubled this in. So Letna should go into either Keldio or Heatran, most likely Heatran here. To scout that Gang Shot out. Um, if I'm Brofist here, I would consider um, going for Hydro Pump, or if he has that, or I would also consider doubling out into... Um... Now, doubling is not the play. You could get up a secondary spike, or you could go for Hydro Pump here. You can also play it safe and go for a Gang Shot, but I'm pretty sure Letna is going to scout for it. So there's the Heatran scouting for the Gang Shot. There's the Gang Shot. Uh, we do see that the um, Heatran gets some grassy terrain back, but the Heatran doesn't have leftover, so it's most likely Z-Move. And Letna has to pivot into Keldio now, or into Bulu, probably into Keldio, because if he pivots back into Bulu, he's in the same situation where he has to switch out again on the gunk shot. So yeah, he has to pivot into Keldio here on a potential Hydro Pump. Um, we don't know yet if it's Life or Greninja, it could still be um, Z-Move. But he has to pivot into Keldio here for sure, scouting for a water move. There's the Keldio, as we see Z-Move comes out. Hydro Vortex, so that's probably Z-Hydro Pump. And he gets a crit, and that is a lot to the Keldi. So now this Keldi is pretty much dead. Um, can only come in one more time on the spikes. 
Brofus um, should switch into Tangros here. I'm not sure why he went Coco the first time. I know that Coco can even take a Scald, but I was definitely expecting Scald from that. Now, if Brofus expected a Toxic earlier when he went Coco, he's a damn genius. He might have also tried to predict some sort of double from Letna earlier on. But in my head, early on, I would have just gone Tangros expecting Scald. And I would just go Tangros again here. Letna could Toxic expecting that, or he just goes for Secret Side, okay. Now, Letna is most likely gonna go on his Lari here because he doesn't want anything else to get knocked off. So, if I'm Brofist here, um, we don't know the last move on the Greninja yet. He could double into his um, into his Coco here. Because, like, Mega Lari is pretty annoying for Brofist. He cannot really switch well into it. But he could also go for knockoff here to get Chip on the Lari. Um, obviously, Letna is not gonna stay in. The Kelly still has one more switch into Spikes. But that Greninja, when it comes in the next time, is going to be a huge problem for Latna. So there's the Lottie. As we see, a Giga Drain. Grassy Terrain boosts Giga Drain. Um, so Lottie's going to Mega Evolve here and most likely fire off a Psychic. And Brofist doesn't have a good switch in. Um, I'm expecting Brofist to just stay in and go for a knockoff to weaken the Lottie. Because he kind of wants to force Latna to go for recover. So that way he can get a switch into something else. So there's the knockoff. Um, Latna could Psychic again here or he could recover. You probably want to go for recover because health on Lottie is pretty important. Uh, because it can potentially check the um, Halucha. So he goes hard into Landris and I'm expecting just a U-turn out from Brovist or a double into Greninja. Letna is most likely going to go to his own Landris here. Um, Letna could also stay in and go for Recover. But I think U-turn does like 60-ish to the Lari. I would do more than Recover could heal. So I think switching is the better play because health on Lari could definitely be important for Letna. Because if the Greninja is lacking Ice Beam, this Lari could also deal with the Greninja potentially. If the Grin so we know the Greninja is Gunk, Pump and Spikes. We don't know if the last move is Ice Beam. Um, if it's Taunt, if it's Low Kick, what else could it be? Yeah, I'm thinking it could be Extra Sensory actually. We will have to see that. Um, yeah, so I would yeah, exactly go into Landers to try and get some Helmet damage. Let's see if Brofist U-turns. Yeah, like I said, he could have doubled into Greninja to avoid that Helmet damage. But this is a fine play in case the Lari stays in. Uh, because Lari is really threatened to Brofist, so I do understand that he didn't want to double there. Because Lari could have stayed in and went for recover or an attacking move. Greninja comes out, um, Latna doesn't have a switch and he obviously wants to switch out his Landris. Because uh, Helmet can be useful versus Halucha later in the game. If the Halucha lacks Roost, the Landris can chip that down and pre prevent it from sweeping potentially. Uh, so at this point, you either have to go Lari or you have to sack your Keldeo here. And I don't know how well Lari takes a gunk shot. Also if this has an Ice Beam, Lari would not be the play here. So I assume he's just gonna sack the Kelio, but even after that, he doesn't even have anything to really revenge the Greninja because we will. Um, yeah, nah. If the Greninja goes for water move or gunk shot, yeah, then it doesn't have then that, that doesn't resist we will stab anymore. So we could potentially revenge Greninja if it's lacking low kick. So he goes for pump, just trying to uh, kill the Landers in front of him as he switches into Kelio and dodges. Um, you can say that max up for the crit, so that's fair. So Brofus uh, is most likely just going to go back into Tangros here. Unless he wants to make another wild play like early on, go hard Coco on the Kelio. Um, a potential Toxic would be a play for Latin expecting the Tangros, but he doubled in the Heatrun, which is also a good play. So this Heatrun is most likely Z-Move, and Z-Move um, either the off power or Z-Magma Storm. So Brofus doesn't want to stay in here and lose his Tangros to a potential Z-Magma Storm. I'm expecting Brofus to either go into Greninja or Heatran. Depending on if he predicts um, the off power, then he would go Greninja. If he predicts the off power, or he could also go Lander, but that's too risky. Scarf Lander seems really valuable to um, do damage to the Lari. So he goes hard on the Hedron, expecting Z Fire or a uh, Magma Storm, and he gets the play correct. So that was like kind of a 50 50 if it was the off power or the Magma Storm, and Brofist got the play correct. And now Brofist could go into his Landris here, scouting for off power, or he could go into his Greninja. And that now also obviously wants to switch out because they are, they're both switched out there, scouting for off power, which makes sense, right? Lari just was his heat switch switching, and he just went into Gwen expecting an off power or switch into Lari. If this has Ice Beam, just cover the Lari. So if Lana's fearing an Ice Beam, he's just gonna sack his Kaldir here, but he stays in, not fearing it. I mean, I understand Lana's play because he didn't really have an option. He just had to hope that the Guninja doesn't have Ice Beam. Psychic was a fine play because even though Guninja is Dark type, it would have obviously changed its typing unless he went for Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse is pretty uncommon on on um, Protein Guninja. That Spadaf drop sucks for Brofist. Assume he wants to save his Tangros. Um, Lana could just Psychic again here. What's Brofist's play here? He could try to pivot into Heatran. Yeah, like, on Latna's side he doesn't have switch-ins to Gren, and on Brofist's side he doesn't have switch-ins to Lari, so they both have, like, trouble dealing with those mons. 
Uh, he's definitely gonna switch into either Heatron or Landros here. Heatron if he expects a Psychic, Lando if he expects an Earthquake. If I'm Letna here, I would probably just go for Recover. Um, either Recover or Earthquake, because I think it's um, Brofus Heatron is potentially gonna come out here, or Recover also gives you covers everything he can do. If he stays in or if he goes Lando, Recover covered everything. So I think Recover or Earthquake would have been fine. He just Psychics. Um, now I could see Brofist um, pivoting into Landris here, predicting the Earthquake. So I would probably Psychic again here from Lent. Now let's see. He just just recover, which is a fine play as well. Now Brofist is going to U-turn out. Um, obviously that recover is important to have it healthy to check Halucha. Um, Halucha needs an FT up to Oko Megalarios. It cannot Oko it otherwise. Um, I'm expecting Lent to switch out again into Landris. Good play by Brofist doubling out this way. He doesn't take helmet damage. And Lent is probably going to try to attempt to sack his Caldew again. Lari can beat the Grand 101, but it doesn't really want to switch in. He could also go hard Lari, yeah, but I assume he's just going to try to sack the Caldew. And Brofus is either going to go for Gunk Shot or Hydro Pump, but most likely Hydro Pump. I assume he doesn't have Ice Beam, because if he had Ice Beam, he would have gone for it earlier. So that's the Caldew attempt to sack on the Gunk Shot, as Brofus actually went for Gunk Shot trying to break the Lari, and he does miss again, so this sucks. Um, First time, he, earlier he crit the Kel, but then he missed the Pump, and now he missed the Gunk, so this is annoying for Brofus. So he has to switch here. I'm expecting Lena to go for Scald or Hydro Pump. Oh, he doubled into Lari, expecting the Tangros. Good play, good play. Um, yeah, that was a fine play, but he could have also Toxic, just trying to um, chip their Tangros. Now, he can just fire off a Psychic here. Uh, Brofus is most likely just going to go for a knockoff to get some chip on the Lari, because Tangros is out of range. Um, it might not be out of range of Draco, but it's definitely out of range from Psychic. There's a Psychic, we assume. I assume a knockoff comes out here. And now, Brofus still wants to keep this. So either a Heatran or Landros is gonna come out here. See Psychics again, and... I would probably Psychic again here if I'm Letna, because... Huh, the pivot into Lando is quite obvious. He goes back to Tangros, um, because he expected the Earthquake, okay. And yeah, now he wants to either knock off again or pivot back. But you can see, like, Tangros having region helps Brofus a bit, but it doesn't really get him that much. Like, this Lari is super annoying for Brofus' team. Um, yeah, like, Lena doesn't lose anything just by clicking Psychic again here, because even if the Heatwing comes out, it keeps getting chipped. And his Lari does have Recover, and it's able to stay healthy. And he definitely still wants... Okay, I thought he would still want the Tangros. So now he can go into Isa Greninja or Scarf Landris here. He goes Coco, okay. Now, um, he could either go for Dazzling Gleam, or he could double into Greninja. Because Letna is, Letna is pretty much forced into his Bulu at this point, so he could also Volt Switch. I don't think he would go into Landris here, because the Dazzling Gleam is pretty obvious. Yeah, he would either go into Bulu or into Heatran here, expecting the Dazzling Gleam or the Volt Switch. I would Volt Switch, personally. So he just Dazzles. There's a good chunk to the Bulu, and... Now Brofus has to go into his Heatran most likely, so Lantna could go for Nature's Madness or Superpower. Uh, Brofus could go Landris if he expects a Superpower, but Scarf Lando seems more valuable than the Trend, so I'm expecting Brofus to go into the Trend here. And I don't remember how healthy the Trend is, but Superpower might be a role on that. As he does go for superpower and he doesn't get... I don't know if there was a roll, but... I think that's just um, HP invested Heatran being able to take it naturally. I don't think there was a roll. So Letna is going to go back to his Lari here, most likely. If Brofus could get up his rocks, or Brofus could go for Toxic. Um, getting our rocks would be a nice play, because it helps him chip down Letna's team for a potential Halucha sweep later in the game. Um, because how I see this at the moment... Um, there's the Lari... There are the rocks. Um, how I see this at the moment, Lari pretty much beats Brofus team if it's healthy. Besides the Coco and besides um, potentially Greninja, but Greninja can't really switch into Lari either. So, And if it's lacking Ice Beam, Lari most likely beats it 1-1. One -one. So he, Psychic's there trying to predict Brofus pivot into Landris. And now Letna is forced to go for Recover. I think Brofus was willing to sack his Heatran. Uh, Letna has to Recover, he needs his healthy. If uh, Brofus has Toxic, he would have gone for it already. It's pretty obvious that he doesn't have it. Now, um, I would just Psychic... No, actually, I would... 
Yeah, I would Psychic again here if I'm Latna, just in case Brofus tries to pivot into his Landris. And even if the Heatran stays in, um, when the Taunt runs out, you can still go for Recover, so he doesn't lose much. So I think Psychic is a fine play here. Brofus is either going to Magma Storm or pivot into Landris, depending on if he predicts um, the Lari to go for Earthquake or Psychic. So he goes for Draco there, and the Landris just dies. Uh, Draco was a good play in the sense that it also caught the Greninja, but I think Hard Greninja was way too risky. So Coco comes back out. Uh, now, Latna wants to switch here into either Bulu, Heatran, or Landris. So Brofus could double out or he could vault out into either Greninja or Halucha. We can see the Lari is at 70% at the moment, which means uh, after Rocks it's at 58%. So I think Alucha needs an SD up to kill Lari from this range. I think Alucha Acrobatics is like 50 to 60 to, to Mega Lari. So after Rocks, this is a roll in Letna's favor at the moment. So we do see a double out into Halucha here. Uh, Letna went into Heatran there, expecting the Dazzling Gleam. And now Brofus is pretty much forced to high jump kick here. Because he doesn't want to take a Magma Storm. He, he, um, I think he played this pretty well. Um, doubling to Koku that covered the Landrus. If the Landrus came out there, he could have set up. Yeah, he was forced to HJK. I mean, I get Letna's play. Um, now Letna either can go into Ladi or Landris here. Um, if his Ladi is minus defense, then he had to go Landris. But if his Ladi is not minus defense, then I think he should have gone Ladi because um, that would have been a roll. So now he HP Isis. Um, the thing is, if Brovis has Roost here, um, this game is pretty much over. So Letna has to hope that this Halucha doesn't have Roost. Otherwise, I think he just loses to it because after SD, like Brovis just uses this Landris as setup for that if he has Roost. Uh, so Latna might have to Earthquake here, expecting the Roost, or he has to bank on this not having Roost and spam HP Ice and hope that it only has Drain Punch, High Jump Kick, SD, and Acro. He has these again here, um, which is a completely fine play. Latna Defox. Um, so I don't know why he defogged there, but honestly, I don't think it matters at this point. The game is over. Like, he does show Roost now, yeah. Like, if he didn't have Roost, then the game would not have been over, so I think he just banked on him not having Roost, but that pretty much confirms that the game is over. Now, Brofus can SD again here. Um, yeah, like earlier when he SD'd again, even if Latna um, HP Ice, that didn't matter because he could have just Roosted it off the next turn, and pretty much Latna needed him to crit on a Roost with Earthquake. So obviously, Kelly doesn't outspeed, Lanus comes back out, but he just clicks Acro again here. He could also SD, but he doesn't need to SD, um, he just wins with this. Um, I didn't run the Kalax obviously, but if Letna's Ladi was a minus defense, then he then he obviously could not have gone to that. So he has to go for Ice Shot Crit now, okay. Um, Ice Shot is probably gonna do like 50 to 55 ish. 51, okay. So Acro is just gonna pick up the kill here. That's, I think that's banned damage. And yeah, Lucha just wins the game for Brofist. So we see the Ladi is at 70 after he defogs, so it would have been a 58 F if he didn't defog, which would have been a roll if he's minus Spadef Ladi, which is more common. Because yeah, now obviously Lucha just sweeps for Brofist. So like if you Ladi, you wanna run minus Spadef because you beat still Wall Heatran's Magma Storm anyway. And if you run not minus defense, if you run minus Spadef, that's better because it helps you versus Kartana, it helps you versus Halucha. It helps you versus U-turns from Landris. It's just overall way better to have minus Spadef instead of minus defense. Helps you also versus potential scissor if you have HP fire on Ladi. This one didn't have it, but I'm just talking in general. So like I think if he was not minus defense Ladi, then he should have gone to that and tried to take a hit. It would have been a roll from Halucha, the acrobatics. But maybe Brofist ran the cocks and he knew that it was minus defense. I'm not sure about that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you with more SPL content. Have a fantastic day, smash the like button if you enjoyed, and peace out, friends. I don't know the exact record from the players, but I think Brofus is like 2-2 two two or something now, was it? I don't know.